I'm Mitzi Summers and I'm here to relay a safety tip for the Certified Horsemanship Association. I have Sarah and what is your horse's name, Sarah? Art. Art. Art as demonstrators and Lori is serving as my assistant. What we're going to talk about today is safely adjusting your stirrups when you're on a horse. So what you're going to do here is she's going to keep her foot in the stirrup have contact on her horse with one hand, and keeping her foot in the stirrup, she's gonna rotate from her hip joint, and by feel, and this does take practice, but by feel, she's going to find the buckle. She's going to lower her stirrup two holes. So she's just been jumping, and now she's gonna do a little flat work. So she's gonna lower her stirrup two holes. And again, this does take a little bit of practice. You'll be able to do it in about 15 seconds when you get used to it. The buckle, when she did that, is lower. So to get the buckle back on top, you lift up on the outside leather and just tromp down and the buckle immediately comes to where it's supposed to go. So she's just successfully with her foot in her stirrup, still having contact on her horse, put her stirrups down two holes. She can tell that, that she's happy with that. She's ready to go out and school her horse on the flat. If she wants to shorten her stirrups, it's the same thing. And you do get so used to doing this that you can safely do this even when you're walking in a safe manner because it's really fast and it's by feel. So she's shortening it. So now she was on the flat and now she's gonna get ready to jump. So instructor says get ready to jump and she's able to do this very quickly. And there, she's lengthened her stirrups two holes, shortened her stirrups two holes, ready to go. As an instructor, it's very important to monitor the girth to make sure that it's tight enough for whatever you're going to do. When you, just before someone mounts, you check the girth. After they get on, you check the girth. If they've warmed up, you check the girth again before the first canter and if they're jumping before they jump. It's very important to check the girth. I will do it if I come up and want to do something, move her leg back a little bit or something, I will automatically check the girth. It takes two seconds to make sure that the girth is safe. There are two ways of doing that. If I want to do that for my student, I will just ask her to keep her foot in the stirrup. Safety, keep her foot in the stirrup. Have her put her leg all the way forward. This is important. If this horse gets upset and moves forward, all she has to do is bring her leg back and she's safe. Then I would tighten the girth. And then when that's done, take her, allow her and to put her leg back down in the correct position. Sarah can do this herself, so I'm going to ask her to do this right now. So Sarah, would you please tighten your girth? And again, you can get just a little um, addition here. You can get to the point where you can be looking straight ahead while you do these, while you do your stirrups or while you tighten your girth and not even have to look down and see how quickly that was done and that was safe. So remember that, keeping your foot in the stirrup, letting your leg come forward. The same thing with a western saddle, a western saddle, the, someone on the ground usually has to do it the way it's set up, but making sure where they put their legs safely. And thank you very much. This is a safety tip for the Certified Horsemanship Association.